So today we're gonna go over how a spray bottle like this can make you $15,000 every single month in extra cash. Let's get right into it. So if you are new here, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frida Bayumi and I am an Amazon FBA coach. So what I'm talking about over here is this spray bottle being sold on Amazon and the revenue that it's making. So I wanna get right into this. I wanna take a deep dive because I actually do this with my students and I thought this would be a really interesting video to do with you guys as well. So you can get the same insights that I look at when I make the video that I post on my Instagram and on my TikTok. The first thing is I actually use Helium 10 to see the revenue of each product and helium 10 is kind of like an x-ray tool it's a chrome extension and also a tool that you can use to build your amazon business we can get into that later but right now we're just going to be using the chrome extension itself you can download it and get dollars off if you'd like through the link in my description box so all i do is i go on amazon.com and I search for the product. And I always do this with products that I order myself on Amazon, just because if I am ordering it and I am interested in it, then probably my target customer is also going to be pretty interested in it. And I always get curious, how much are these products actually making a month? So here it is, I found it on amazon.com and I always look at amazon.com because I always recommend for you to sell on amazon.com. It's the biggest online market place in the world and when i say amazon.com i mean the u.s market not the canadian market the u.s market has the biggest purchasing power you're going to notice a significant difference in revenue when you're looking at the u.s market as opposed to the canadian or the uk or the european so just be aware of that i always recommend to try your best to sell in the u.s market first and then move on to other markets later so here we are at the spray bottle. You can see here they have several options for the bottle itself. They have a black option, they have 12 ounce, 24 ounce. So all you do is click on the Chrome extension and then you click on X-ray. And as you can see over here, they are making $56,000 every single month in revenue. So yes, the product is making $56,000, but I did say that you can make $15,000 in profits every single month. And we're gonna go through how that number came up and why it would come up, okay? So let's say, for example, you are very interested in this product and you think that this is a really cool product to sell. How do you validate this? How do you validate that this is actually a viable product for you to sell and that you would be able to make money off of it? So there are a few things for you to look at and a few criterias that I recommend to my students. I'm not gonna go through all of them because that would be unfair to the students that signed up to my course to provide this in free content, but we can go through some of it. So before I do that, let's go back to the search section right here. So this is where all of these search results pull up. And it's really important to pay attention to price points here. I always recommend to sell a product for over $15. So as you can see, the one that is selling for over $15 is actually a three pack. So we are going to validate this product as a three pack because if you just wanna sell one, it's selling for $8 or $8.99. And to be honest, that is pretty slim for profit margins. So we wanna stick to the three pack. So what you wanna do is click on that tool again and click on the x-ray tool and we already took a look at the price point here and we said that we are interested in anything selling for more than $15 so as you can see there is a five pack there's an eight pack there is different varieties so different sizes in one pack so anything that you want to sell for more than $15 you would have to sell in a pack and it's really important to keep this in mind when you are calculating your profits right so let's see this product right here. We said they're making $56,000. And when did they start selling on Amazon? They started selling in 2018. So they've been selling for a while. But there are other people that did start selling in 2022 that are making money like this over here, the eight pack. So there are a few things that I want you to keep on the lookout for. So number one is the revenue of the product. You wanna make sure that there is demand here right that people actually want to purchase this product 
So this is where we look at the revenue column and you want to make sure that the revenue is over 30,000 or 40,000 or even over 20,000. That means that people are actually purchasing this product. So as you can see here, there is a brand that is making $400,000 and they started selling when? Let's see. Well, it's not available when they started selling, but it seems like they've been selling for a while because they have 22,000 reviews. The second thing that I want you to look at, and this is all I'm going to mention for this video because I want to go into other things as well, is I want you to look at the amount of reviews. So why don't we take a look at the review count column and you want to sort it by the least reviews and then take a look and then go back to the revenue column. So as you can see over here, there is somebody that is making $22,000 a month and they have 500 reviews, which means that you are actually able to get sales without needing 1,000, 2,000, 20,000 reviews, and it seems like they just started selling. So that is a good sign for this product. You also have somebody else that is making $16,000, and let's see how many reviews do they have. They have 302 reviews um, and they also started selling last year. So yeah, that shows a good sign that there is potential for this product that even if you do start selling as a new seller that you can still make money and you can still compete with the top selling listings. So that's all I'm gonna mention for now. Hopefully that made sense. Let's say, okay, I'm good with this product. I feel like I can compete here. The next thing that I'm thinking about now is can I differentiate myself? Can I stand out? And what I'm seeing is that most of these bottles are either white, black, or they are somehow colorful with a nozzle. So there's two types here. There's one that is the continuous spray, and then there is one that is just the regular spray bottle. I'm interested in the continuous spray. And the continuous spray, there's only white and black. So now, how do you differentiate yourself? Maybe try to make one that is gold. Maybe try to make one that is silver. Maybe pink, right? So that would really stand out in the middle of all these listings. And keep in mind that the best sellers and the listings with the most revenue are the listings that have their packaging as big as the bottle in the main image, right? So that's something that's important as well that people like to see is nice packaging that shows on the main front image, all right? So this would be my thought process when I'm thinking about this product. Now, let's see what their cost is. So for you to see what the cost is of this product, and I'm going through the entire process with you, right? This is the process that I would go through if I'm actually considering to sell this product myself. So to see what the cost is, we're going to now go on alibaba.com and we are going to search for not just spray bottle, you wanna search for continuous spray bottle. And I want you to keep in mind here that the bottle that was selling for more than $15 was a three pack. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so as you can see here, you can actually purchase this continuous spray bottle for 70 cents or up to a dollar and 40 cents, and you can customize it. So as you can see, they have all types of colors. You can make it pink, you can make it gold, you can put your logo on it, you can have some type of design on it. This is a really good option for you to be able to differentiate yourself. As you can see, they're giving you all different types of color options and also packaging options, which is great because like we said, packaging is important to be included in the main image and for it to be included in the main image, it should look pretty. So it's great that they have packaging options here as well. So let's say for example, since they have a range from um, 70 cents to a dollar and 43 cents, as you can see here, they have 1.20 if you wanna order like a smaller quantity. So we are going to do the calculations together. So let's consider it to be $1.2 dollars per unit and you want to do a pack of three, right? So we're gonna do 1.2 times three. So that is 3.6. And then to ship this product, it should not be more than $2 a unit. And I always say $2 a unit just because, first of all, you have two options for shipping. You have air and you have ocean. You should never calculate your profits according to air. 
because air is not realistic. Air is three times the price of ocean and air is three times faster than ocean. So air is an emergency option. We're only going to use air for emergencies and for your first shipment. Ocean is what we're calculating your profits based off of because ocean is going to be your standard method of shipping. So your ocean shipping should not be more than $2. Let's consider that it's $2. And keep in mind that if it is more than $2, then either your product is too big, or like the packaging is making it too bulky, or it's too heavy to ship out, and you should probably try to find a different product. So let's say it's 5.6. Now this product is selling on Amazon for $23.75. So your goal price should be $23.75 since it's doing great for that price, right? So Amazon takes 33% of your selling price. So let's say if you're selling for $23.75, then they are taking $7.8. And $7.8 plus 5.6, which is your product cost, plus your shipping cost is 13.4. So 13.4 minus 23.75 is $10.35, which means I would say this is a good product to go for if you can keep it within this price point. It's a good product to go for because you are able to profit at least $10 off of it. Now $10, if you do end up profiting $10 from this product, then that is a 50% profit margin, which means that if you get to the same sales as the seller, for example, and you're making $50,000 and your profit is 50%, then you are going home with $25,000 every single month in profit and extra cash in your pocket without you having to pack, without you having to do any of the shipping, without you having to do any of the customer service or any of that because Amazon does all of it for you when you are doing Amazon FBA. Now, usually profit margins are not exactly 50%. They could be 25 they could be 30 percent so that is why i said and i calculate always for my videos the minimum profit margin which is usually 25 percent and to be honest guys any seller that is making less than 25 percent margins is probably not even gonna go for selling on amazon or not gonna go for the product so any product that's doing well on amazon is i'm pretty sure they're making at least 25 percent profits so Imagine you are working less than four hours a week and you are taking home $15,000 every single month in profits in your pocket. This is the potential with Amazon, guys. It's reality, it is what it is, and it's not all like suppliers that are selling these products. Like this is actually a small business that's selling it. And as you can tell, a lot of these bottles are actually brands within the USA. So they are probably getting their product from China, yes but the seller is living in the USA. So these are actual people just like me and you that decided to source this product from a supplier on Alibaba or in China and decided to sell it on Amazon. The process is simple. It's a one, two step process and there's absolutely nothing special about what these sellers did. They were just consistent, persistent, and they found a viable product and just continued to work on it until it succeeds.